Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with a bit of a different video today. We're going to go for a drive and have a chat about these European recovery funds and why there's so much skepticism around at the moment about how this money is being spent. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and I'll tell you a little bit more about Skillshare during the video. So uh, let's go. Now as we know, there's a lot of European aid money here in Spain at the moment. In fact, the country is awash with cash. And of course, that is leading to political tension because the opposition parties or the main opposition party here in Spain, the Partido Popular, is a little bit skeptical about how this money is being spent. And to be honest, I can understand where this skepticism comes from, given Spain's track record over the last 20 or 30 years with some of the infrastructure projects in this country and the way European cohesion funds and uh, other public money has been spent in this country. And that's what we're going to go and do today. I'm going to go for a drive and we'll take a look at one of the big white elephant projects in this country, in this particular autonomous community, Madrid. It is the uh, radial roads, which has cost the state billions of euros and uh, apparently it's still costing the state billions and billions of euros. So we're going to go and check out that now. So the questions that the opposition party, the Partido Popular, is asking is where is this money being spent and how is it being distributed here in Spain? Is it being distributed fairly? That's the question. Their argument is that it's not. It's going to places where the socialist government is in power because here in Spain we have a system which is uh, a central government and then we have autonomous community governments, similar to states in the United States or Australia. And then we have municipal government as well. So three levels of government. And the money comes in from Europe to the central government and they are responsible for distributing it around the country. In fact, they do it uh, in the way that they like. There's no independent body, I don't think. They. Uh, send the money wherever they think it's necessary. So they set up various plans. There's a, a tourism uh, recovery plan, which is the topic of debate at the moment. And that's why the main opposition party is arguing that places where they are in power at a municipal level are not getting as much money as places where the Socialist Party is in power. PSOE party here in Spain. Now the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has been lauding this money. He's called it the new Marshall Plan and he says it is exactly what Spain needs to modernize the economy and move into the 21st century. And one of the reasons why I'm a little bit skeptical is because I've heard those speeches before. In fact, I heard those speeches back in the early 1990s when things like this road that we're going to see today were being built by the president who was in power then, Jose Media Aznar, and uh, basically he used the same speech that these infrastructure projects were going to modernize the country and bring it up to speed with the rest of Europe. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of these projects have gone bankrupt and taxpayers are still footing the bill. And that's where the skepticism, as I said, comes from as to whether or not these new European funds are going to fix the problem and indeed bring Spain up to speed. That's the question, to modernize the economy, which is the Prime Minister's current speech. Now, there's a bit of a difference, I think, with these funds. And the idea is that the European Union is going to be controlling the money a lot more than they have done in the past because there are certain groups in the north of Europe that are a bit worried about how Spain spends money. They don't want a repeat of the past. So the European Union is apparently going to be a little bit more uh, controlling when it comes to this money. So that's a pro, I would say. But one of the big problems in this country is the way that the system works with the autonomous communities and the municipalities around the country that when that money comes through Madrid, the capital, and gets distributed around Spain, that's where it can get lost. And that's what has happened in the past. In fact, as you guys probably know, I've been living in Spain for 22 years now. 
and uh, I've traveled to a lot of different parts of the country and honestly speaking there's not an autonomous community in this country that you don't come across an unfinished bridge or a highway that seems to lead nowhere or a toll road that doesn't have any cars on it and uh, that's one of the big problems or an airport which has subsequently been shut down like the one in Castilla La Mancha in the province of Ciudad Real which was one of the biggest white elephant projects ever built in this country and the leader of the opposition Pablo Casado is accusing the government of just that clientelism and the fact that these funds could lead to corruption and he said yesterday that in 2023 uh, probably saying that when he gets into power then all of the bad spending of this money will come to light so we'll have to wait until 2023 to see but the opposing side of the argument here is that the European Union has come out on numerous occasions and said that they are controlling this cash and Spain is spending it well so we have two sides to the story as usual now I'll interrupt the video here to give a shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes on a wide range of topics that include photography, illustration, languages, music, business, web development, design and many more. Now we all know that learning a new language can be a bit of a challenge as an adult, but it's fundamental to learn the local language so that you can integrate faster into the culture, and the Skillshare Masterclass How to Learn a New Language as an Adult by Robert G will help you master that foreign language. And there are plenty of other skills that you can learn on Skillshare, like video editing for example. For me, the main advantage of Skillshare is that it has classes to suit any skill level. You can be a beginner, a pro, a dabbler or a master. It doesn't matter. You will find a class to suit you on Skillshare. Another pro is that most Skillshare classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click the link below and take advantage of the offer and check out Skillshare for yourself. Now back to the video. So the traffic here is terrible at the moment. We'll see if we can get past this truck which is turning and see this radial road or toll road which as I said before has left a big hole in Spanish budgets. And that's another thing I want to mention that I read a couple of years ago that they did some type of um, report that Spain has misspent around 80 billion euros over the last few decades on white elephant infrastructure projects, infrastructure projects that have gone nowhere, 80 billion euros. And uh, if we look at the fact that Spain is getting around 70 billion euros at the moment from these European cohesion funds, we can see that there's a bit of a, an inconsistency there. 80 billion euros badly spent and 70 billion euros needed again from Europe to try to kickstart the economy. So again, that's one of the big problems. All right, so we're coming up to this radial road here, which starts in this part of Madrid, Arganda del Rey. And what we're gonna do is take this road. We can see here, Peaje. There's a few people taking it, but this has been one of the big white elephant projects over the last 20 or 25 years in this country. All right, go through here. Little beep to show that I've paid. And on we get. So we're 24 kilometers away from Madrid where this road ends. And the idea of these roads was to solve the traffic problems on the main highways that lead into Madrid, on the main motorways that are basically a traffic jam every morning and every evening for people and these roads were built and the idea was to develop all of these areas around here but obviously that hasn't happened as we can see not a lot of development going on and uh, basically the only people that use these roads are people that work somewhere along this radial road so they use this road in order to get to work uh, faster in the mornings or to get home faster in the evenings 
and another time when these roads are used is on public holidays where there's a lot of traffic on the other roads and people want to avoid a traffic jam so they they're willing to pay for these roads but in general people are not willing to pay for these roads which is one of the reasons they went broke and as I said these roads have cost the state billions of euros because when the concessions failed part of the agreement was that the state would pick up the tab and it was a win-win situation for those companies because basically they didn't lose any money I don't think and the series of lies which took place over the years politicians saying that these roads weren't going to cost money that taxpayers wouldn't have to fit the bill but basically lie after lie after lie and that's a similar situation with those other projects around the country that I mentioned before the city of Valencia again needed to be bailed out because of their ambitious infrastructure plans and uh, other autonomous communities around the country again having to be bailed out because they spent too much money they spent too much money of taxpayers money they spent too much of the European cohesion funds and basically there was no control and that is what makes me as I said before a little bit skeptical that this new money will be spent wisely I don't think there's any huge infrastructure plans on the cards where that money's going to be spent I think they're going to spend the money on some type of ecological transition but uh, again as I said once it gets into the autonomous communities the money gets lost and five ten years later we hear the story or I hope we won't hear the story of why this money was badly spent and it's not only on infrastructure projects where this money here in Spain gets badly spent Andalusia a few years ago had a terrible problem with corruption scandals on European money being wasted on training schemes for the unemployed it was also a, a, a famous case down there called the Ede scandal billions of euros wasted European money again that's why people are, are worried so there we go you don't have to go far to see how public money and European money has been badly spent over the decades here in Spain and uh, as I said let's hope that that doesn't happen again but a lot of people are skeptical which is the favorite word of this video about how that money is going to be spent so I'll start to wrap the video up questions and comments please leave them in the section below debate the situation out as you normally do if you're living here in Spain and there is one of these white elephant projects or abandoned infrastructure projects in your autonomous community let us know give the video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't i'll see you in the next one hasta luego